No, no, not again. No more Rimwald. <laughs> I can't. I'm not prepared mentally for the situation that this mod pack presents me with. Welcome to Rimwald. Third attempt uh, on basically the same mod pack. I am going to house rule it a little bit. Now, to be completely blunt with you, to be completely honest with you, this series has given me an idea for a much better series. However, we are going to give it another good attempt. A final good run, a final good attempt. I'll be completely blunt with you. I cannot play Project Zomboid on this channel and this series simultaneously. My faculties do not expand far enough. My mental stability cannot handle being constantly pounded from both sides by these two separate games, okay? So I need to readjust, firstly, my phrasing. Secondly, the mod pack to allow us a, a, a chance at victory. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's what I'm thinking. Terrain settings, sod your mountains. I'm sick of them. Put them on normal mountain level, right? Water on maps, put that on normal water level. Stone chunks, don't really care. Uh, then still stone chunks. Well, that's the amount of stone chunks. Oh, I don't want any at all. Get that out of here. Give us a new map random. Fine, whatever. No, no let's go normal. <laughs> what I'm saying is no stone chunks, everything else good. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to carry on. I haven't changed any mods. I haven't changed any settings besides what you've just seen. We're now on blood and dust. I hate I hate this storyteller in a good way. It is the challenge of Rimworld I've been looking for, but definitely do not need in my life currently. We are going to go for Gerald, everybody's favorite witcher, as our seed. I'm trying a different microphone configuration as well, so if I sound slightly different, you know why. It's also 3 a.m., so this could be a uh, delirious town and possibly the worst time to potentially make a challenge run in Rimod. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, sod Mountains, I hate them. I've always hated them, and I've never once played on a mountainous map despite popular rumor. What I do like is something like, uh, I don't know, this area here. 50 out of 60 days, a temperate forest, right? 50 out of 60 days growing time is firstly fantastic. Uh, secondly... It's got a road. Thirdly, we're not close enough to annoy anyone. Yes, we are. Balls. How dare you? Um, what about up here? 40 out of 60 days growing time. I don't like that. I, I like... What about here? They're still angry at me. Well, sod them. Sod them. We've got enough on our plate. So here's the, here's the problem, right? I need to explain a couple of things. Number one, the younger something is, the less HP it has. So in the case of one, our orphan child, who is only 14, they are far more susceptible to damage. They're also our top soldier. To make up for that. I am going to increase their age to 18. So they are their, their tiny child body is less susceptible to big, strong bullets. How would you have to be to get a backstory in RimWorld? Oh, it's 20 when you count as an adult. Oh, bizarre. Um, I'm going to random this until we get one that doesn't block anything. There you are. Orphan neuroscientist actually hasn't changed their, their stats at all. I'm happy with that. It's going to make our top soldier less squishy. Second thing I'm going to do. I am going to give us armor, I think. I think armor is a fair shout. We've got armor. We've got weapons. I may even bump the combat stats of our first two other characters. I'm not going to go crazy with the armor. Maybe just some flak jackets or something like that. Maybe maybe only flak jackets, actually. This is the lineup I want to go for. One laser pistol, two revolvers, 15 package of meals, and basic armor. Three flak jackets, three flak pants, and three simple steel helmets. That's not really basic. That's intermediate armor. But it's better than nothing. Which is, I mean, hefty. I love him turned up in a fucking apron in a combat scenario there is no wonder we have failed every single attempt on this so far are we within the points limit no probably because of the bloody thrombo if i had to be blunt with you um i'm going to increase their shooting stats to 10 minimum i didn't actually take this into account safety zero shooting in a combat in the hardest combat storyteller i think i've ever seen and possibly there is in rimworld this is our final attempt. This is our final run in the mod pack as it stands. If it fails, I'll move on to the better idea, which will be built with this mod pack, everything in this mod pack, all the mods in this mod pack, with some extra stuff added, but nothing removed. Because I've come up with a, a pretty all right plan. Anyway, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do with no mountain and actual places to build, trees, wood, fields. I think it's going to be a game changer. Welcome, my friends and colleagues, to... The Killing Fields. I like this map. Can I just talk about that? Like, plenty of wood. We've got a big old road running, uh, I mean, straight through the map by sectoring it there. Big old pond if we want to do some fishing. Lots of ruins to to gather resources from. Wow. I mean, the ruin setting is set to random. So that's that's one of the, that's the, well, not the terrain generation. But that's just the map generation settings there. First thing we'll do, let's get everybody equipped. We need to. Okay. 
So you grab, uh, yeah, you just grab the revolver as well there. That's fine. And then finally, Hefty. Hefty, I, I, I love you. You are my best friend and a great character. However, you did turn up in a friggin' apron. That already inspires a bit of confidence in the game, yes? That's already a, a much better start. How are we doing for ores? Um, a lot of steel on the map. Uh, basically only steel. That could be an ancient danger. If it's not, it could be a good building to dismantle. Um, oh, wow. I can't see any components. Where we have got lucky in some respects, I think we've got fairly unlucky in others. I can't see a single component on this map. I guess that's where Empire will once again time to shine. Um, what is that? Oh, it's just like flowers in a house. And we've got like a pretty well-grown animatory there as well. Okay. Um... What I'm going to do then, let's dismantle this building. Let's go ahead and dismantle all buildings, right? Um, and start working on a, on a very basic starting structure, ideally. While Hefty does that, uh, because the others, I assume, aren't so interested in that, we'll start putting down some growing zones just straight away. So, I'm going to put the base about here. We want to build around the road, but we also want to build central to the map. We've also got a gas keys. If we put our base, like, like there, I think that's too terrible. Let me just check that this is actually central to to the map the episodes you've seen so far of this series i've never once been in order as i am right now the central the, the center of the map is right there the road doesn't go through the center of the map for reasons i can't begin to explain okay well that's where we'll we'll start our base then and we'll kind of work out from there from a from a pure mathematical perspective raids coming in from the edge of the map it's best to put as much as we can here then right because it means it'll take the longest time for them to get to us Let's put down growing zones. I was going to just chop down trees, but if we put down growing zones, we could kill two birds with one stone. I did accidentally say till two birds with one stone, which is an incredible example of parapraxis. Right, you, my friend. I need... What do I need right here? Well, let's think. Um, rice. Food. Sorry, it's been so long since we've been able to adequately <laughs> sow crops. It's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Right, okay. I need uh, something here. There we are. So what have we got for that one? Rice. Uh, a long-term crop. Because we don't have that complete growing zone anymore. Although we've barely had any bloody complete growing time. In fact, I don't think we've grown a single crop in this entire series for three episodes. However many episodes. We haven't played three episodes. I think we've played like five now. <laughs> right, cotton as well. Right, so we've got short-term food, long-term food, and then furniture. Fine, pretty happy with that. Those guys will probably work on that. Or not. What the hell are you doing? Oh, right, we also need to, uh, of course, take control of one here, don't we? Right, so firefighting, top priority, let's go patient, doctor, nurse, surgeon, that's all fine. Bed rest should be the highest, same with hall plus. Don't really care about basic finish, should be probably top. Just to make sure we're killing enemies in case they get back up and cause some chaos on the way out. Don't really care about these for the time in Cooking. I mean, shit, do we have a better chef? Technically, yes, but I think I would rather just bite the bullet early on and train one up, especially when we've got meals. Um, butchering will make high priority then. Sod brewing, who cares about that? Hunting, ideally, but not a big deal right now. Um, construction, deconstructs, repair can be kind of low priority. And then we'll also do that as high priority as well. All right, I'm all right with that. I think that works fairly well. You can tell I'm, I'm more committed to this one by the fact that I'm actually setting them up a full jobs list immediately. <laughs> Which is something I didn't even bother doing for those last ones because I saw the mountains and I was like, you know what? I want to wait till we've got a base before we actually start working on that. But this one... I'm feeling. Now, I know a lot of people would probably say, moron, idiot, big fool. Uh, use the, the blocks, use the, uh, the the tiles that are already in place here and build your base out of them. I think I would rather, again, just bite the bullet early on, given that we've got decent defenses now, or, or more specifically, we've got armor and weapons and training. We can defend ourselves fairly early. We haven't got to try and bait them out through a, a single mountain pathway. Area revealed. Where? Yes, that is an area you've revealed to me. In fact, I've seen it many times before. What? I think maybe... A, oh, maybe there was like a tiny... No, that's all... I don't know. It doesn't matter. It, it really does not matter at this point. We could grab... Um, there's plenty of berry bushes I can't ever notice. Bearberry. What are, what are these plants here? What's it like? Oh, hang on. Is this affecting their opinion? Because like... We've got, a lot of, we've got a lot of very beautiful flowers. Oh no, it's really not that impressive. They should be impressed by this. Fucking flowers and trees everywhere. You guys should count yourselves lucky. It could be a weird parallel world two or three times over where you guys are trapped in a mountain. I'm going to cancel some of the building designations because it's been like two days now and we haven't really got much progress on I mean, any sort of base. Put that wholesome stuff back here. We've got a lot of resources already. We need to be very, very careful about how we... <laughs> What's our colony wealth looking like? Oh, it's not that bad at all though, is it? All, all time? Oh, that, that is all time. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Um, a little bit misleading because it's obviously such a small sample so far. Right, what have you got for me then? 
a shitload of steel, like an actual shitload of steel. In that case, we will lay the foundations of our of our base from this area. Let's go. Um, steel. And I'm gonna build just a little just a little eight by eight room. Right in the center of the map where we can we can build our first ever barracks. Put down a slab bed, right? What have we got here so far? 186 sandstone blocks. I mean it's not comfortable, but it is as it says that, only marginally better than sleeping on the floor. But I believe we can connect up linkables to that, can't we? Right, we could put a dresser down. Which somehow makes a stone brick more comfortable. <laughs> Welcome to Rimworld. <laughs> to be blunt, if I was more confident, I would rather have played on some of those weird mountain maps we've had before. Because the, the problem with mountain maps, of course, is we have no food uh, uh, initially. We have no way of gaining natural resources like... I mean, growing anything. Uh, I mean, wood as well. The... You, hang on. You built a fucking masterwork? What? Stone slab bed. Oh, thank you. It's it's a slap in the face, but it's a soft slap in the face, so it's okay. Uh, either way, it's still a fucking slap in the face, pal. Thanks. Appreciate that one. Um, what's it talking about? Yeah, the mountain base, of course, in the long term would be so, so easy to defend, especially if you had, you know, that last map we played on with the big, long corridors that the, uh, the elusive ostrich uncovered for us. That would be incredible. But... In this situation, we do have a much larger open field to defend, however, all the food we could ever eat. Uh, and I think starving to death was a much more pressing matter. Hello, Yoshi Ellison and Stench. Oh, what a, what a guy. Yoshi and Stench. Honestly, genuinely, are they, are they related? They got the same name. Uh, it's his son. That is a RimWorld playthrough that needs to happen at some time. That Those are our... Someone remind me of this. Those are our cowboy playthrough characters when we do a cowboy series. Yoshi and Stench. Those are better names than I've ever come up with. Does that actually count as even remotely comfortable? Awful Barrett. Comfortable three? <laughs> wow. I really have polished a turd there, huh? Great news. Awful Barrack is probably because, you know, it's got plants growing in it um, and other people waking them up constantly. Are we actually already out of meals? That fucking thrombo. I will destroy you and your family. Okay, let's get... Oh, I won't need a thrombo. Let's get uh, some harvesting going then. What do you think Just if I go for a blanket harvest all? That way we could bring in some heal root. We can get some of uh, kind of various berries. What else is that going to cover? It's just berries and hopefully some heal root there. I don't know about you guys. I don't want to be looking for heal root amid, well, this. Safety is on that. Safety is happy to harvest from wild crops while one works on... Oh, Hefty has nothing to do. Hefty, you boring man. What What are your designations right now? Prairie Constructor. Well, we better put him to work doing something at least. Um. All right. Well, we could get you to build, I guess, three separate bedrooms. This is the original room. Um. So if we put a door there from the road, maybe this could be like a, like an entrance into our base. You know, like a like a an antechamber, for a lack of a better word. So let's have maybe the base come off of this. Then I'm thinking like a big fuck off external wall. Maybe maybe we can't afford that quite yet. Okay, in that case, let's just put a couple of buildings out the back here. Then um, maybe like a few little little bedrooms here and there. I'm not gonna make them massive, but six by six is probably sufficient for the timing. Slightly boxed in there um, for just defensive reasons. Both of them are constructing, and I want them both. Friggin' summon crops, because poor one has so much to do. We got a mad rat. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Before I forget them, let's quickly go attack. He protect, he attack. More importantly, he slay rack. Or not. Oh, good lord. You had me panicking there. You really genuinely had me panicking a little bit there, pal. On the plus side, if they build fast enough here, we could get their... We could, we could genuinely get their beds reinstalled. Beds, inverted commas, installed into their own little bedrooms. Day one, they sleep in beds. Day two, they get their own bedroom. We are already doing better than every single other series. And I don't think you can blame that on the flak armor, my friends. I think that's all down to the fact that I'm not playing inside solid rock. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's true. I think it's true. I am... What, what do you mean? Is it too long? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, this is like a marketing board. Optimism's revenge. It's too long. They'll never, it never felt on the poster. Oh, for fuck's sake, what are you talking about? Well, because I've got a semicolon in it. Oh, boring. Optimism for optimism's revenge. I would just reads like somebody who doesn't know how to punctuate. The Treaty of the Quarry. There's no quarry in this uh, map, sir. I've, I've removed the mod. Hello, it's Magpie Purple and Black, my favorite jazz band. Okay, squad up. Let's see what we can do here. Careful. 
Uh, maybe get behind some trees. You guys love trees? Right, let's go and let's go and hide like that. There we go, there we go. Okay, here we go, friends. That's heal root. Oh, that's already better than anything I've ever seen. How are, how are you like this? Why are you like this? I hate you all. Well, we've we've killed we've killed one of the guys. I don't know his bloody name now. Magpie's down. Purple. Die purple. We've done it. The first raid survived. Is this what it's like having a gun in Rimworld? I'm blown away. Absolutely staggered. Right, you go grab that axe, because that axe is very, very nice as a sidearm. Put the bodies in the pond, just so they, they melt faster. What's the word? Melt is not the right word. Um, what do bodies do? Decompose. So they decompose faster. Right, critical. Um, and let's go ahead and say human corpses, but preferably none that we like. Well, I mean, that would be that would be everyone still, but I guess I'll go ahead and remove colonist corpses as well for the time being. Oh, Velez the Sheriff. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Danielle Velez. Is she any good? She's got five of the She addicted. Nah, we can't. We, we can't take that. That would that would be an impossible challenge. Uh, I think we, we take her drugs and then we leave her for the wolves. May or may not be related to my, uh, my planned series. Should this one go to absorbing bird skin pants? What was it? Padded? Uh, blunt? Yeah, 7.5%. Look at that. Hey, I guess we'll work. No, no, rather than the flat jacket, nah. You know what? It's not going to absorb a bullet, is it, pal? We've had uh, many attempts on this campaign where our characters have just had breakdowns for various reasons. Um, you know, murderous rages. We've had tantrums. We've had it, everything, basically. Cancel all orders on the map. Yeah, I, I want to stop them harvesting wild crops now so that we can focus down our own stuff. Uh, my point was going to be having Luciferum around in a place where people break down all the time and may or may not take the devil's lettuce, quite literally, in this place. Um... I think it's dangerous, and we probably want to sell it as soon as possible. But if we can sell it, it's a nice kind of starting starting cash sum to get our empire off the ground. You suck. You suck, Hefty. Mine me some... Mine, then. I don't want everyone else mining. But seeing as he's got fucking nothing else to do, apparently. With the Treaty of the Quarry again. Man, they are pissed, huh? They are really mad at me. Um, It's one guy. Abruroba. I'm sure we don't really need to squad everyone. In fact, I think... Again, given that one is the only person really capable of working on these plants, I'm going to take just Hefty and Safety, and we'll just use these guys to, um... This is, this is kind of like, you know how Rimworld, as the first raid on no matter what difficulty you're playing, they'll always generally send you just a dude. This is obviously that. Um, independent of the storyteller, I think. Wave-based survival does it as well, so I think it's just a kind of hard-coded thing. Right, there we are. Oh, he bought me some jade! And another hatchet. That's actually quite a big deal. You go ahead and grab that one, seeing as the other guy can't do anything with plants. Um, and now you die. Oh. Damn melee skill six. Well, kick him to death then. Oh, free muff. Hey, that's not bad. Do they make milk? Oh, they make wool. It was a male one. Well, again, depending on depending on how exactly you approach it, you may successfully milk. Oh, successfully being uh, debatable. Coincidentally, it's probably what you're going to do to the muffler, right? I'm, I'm trying to build a, um, a little, a little kind of recreation room here just to try and keep spirits decently high. I don't want to commit too many resources to it. I also don't want it to be massive because there's very few that we can actually build. So let's just get down basic living area. Um, and then ideally we need to start getting the defenses soon. I'm pissing around far too much with a nice house and not enough with, oh, please, God save me. We all agree. This is already a far more enjoyable series when the odds aren't insurmountable. <laughs> Bizarre that, I know. Um, let's stick the, uh, stick, stick the peg outside. Just because if you stick the peg inside, I'll probably get removed from YouTube. Let's put the, um, let's put the chess table down somewhere as well. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, this is supposed to be a recreation room, but in hindsight, I built it big enough to probably also turn it into a kitchen as well. Uh, again, predominantly because we don't actually have any tools for recreation right now. Um... Billiards table would be good though, especially like right there. So there's plenty of room to pass around it. Okay, well let's let's uh let's dedicate like this side, I guess, to recreation. So we'll put the billiards table there. We'll get the wooden chest table kind of kind of up here. Maybe not a wooden. Oh, I guess we've got plenty of wood on this map. I'm still kind of internally trying to preserve wood, even though it's completely unnecessary. Let's put down um a, a cooking area then. Sure, why not? We could we could throw in a little a kitchen. That's that's the human word for it, isn't it? Kitchen. Um I'm thinking we'll do something like that. I, I should really add double doors to everywhere so it's not such a... So slow for people, you know, when they're passing one another. Um, electric stove is, is fine for now. We do, of course, have vanilla furniture expanded. So we've got the kitchen sink and stuff too. I'm pretty sure it's from Viet vanilla furniture expanded. I don't have mod designated, but I assume it is. Um, 
Butcher table, I think we'll save that. We'll, we'll build a little freezer onto this. Then we got that incredible mod. A lot of people are asking me about this mod. It's quite simply called perishables that allow us to put, well, perishables in a, in a particular area. Uh, I'll say no rotten either, but I don't think. I think if they're rotten, they probably already count as perished. Um, and then maybe not, uh, no, I, I think that's fine. Oh, obviously not human corpses as well. That's fairly, fairly important there. But this is a great mod. I actually, I'm such a massive fan of it. I don't know how we ever managed without it in the base game. So we really desperately now need to find, is that ancient danger? It's gotta be right. Am I feeling particularly bold today? Oh dear. It's not. Wow. Oh, it's actually not. Okay, fine. Um, I'm hoping we can find by doing a little bit of strip mining some some oh damn i was hoping that would be a big open area some components if we can't find that we're in a little bit of trouble um especially because you know we're growing quite a lot of food and i don't really want it expiring too quickly uh heal root as well it's not massively urgent i will admit but it, just getting some power online would be ideal turrets predominantly um yeah there is really nothing is there wow i i think we'll just dig a line through there you know we'll, we'll just dig a, a straight line through some of these larger rock faces and, and see what we can come up with. Ready a rice harvest. Again, I've, I've got to reiterate. I don't think this is all down to the flak vest. I think I was making a tactical error in not the combat. I think the combat I was doing all right with. I think just the fucking map choice was atrocious. I was going too much on defense. And, and obviously, you know, we've got no survivability out of it. The group of Federation soldiers from Strike Force. It's Constable Odo. No, it's not. It's Solace Isolde and Donato. This is getting a little bit harder now, isn't it? Although they are bringing me more axes. And I do love axes. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Auxiliary pistol. I feel like Igor is being far more generous to us. We are on the right. I thought I maybe accidentally picked the wrong setting in my kind of sleep-deprived state. But no, we're actually we're actually all right here. Okay. We should be good. Bear in mind, they've got... I mean, they've just got kind of basic weaponry. Yeah. We've, we've got a bit of medicine out of them there, too. Look at that. Wow. And we know those pistols are worse than our revolvers because we've, we've actually seen those before briefly. Medicine for me? Oh, careful. Oh, I thought that was a thrombo toss then. I was going to say, holy shit. Uh, you all right? A bit of a crack. Oh, food poisoning. Okay. Well, to be fair, I mean, he was unlike. Brother. The Federation have bionics. Oh, my God. Hold the door. Watch this. Uh, get that down. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, you haven't got any medicine to do an operation, brother. They've bought me medicine, too. Uh, specifically, exactly the medicine we need to do this operation. I'm hoping I can pull his spine out. <laughs> said scorpion shall he set the prisoner bed to prisoner you moron okay get him bring him home uh thank you guys you've done a great job here let's get these hauled over though oops let's get these guys hauled over and the medicine is super super good now what i'm gonna do here to start off with it i'm gonna do something that's a bit more min maxi let's set them down to herbal medicine and then if they are urgently you know on the brink of dying super uh, not necessarily a super high infection because obviously it's probably too late by then but if their infection starts progressing a little bit higher than the cure rate or a disease then we hit them with the better medicine i'm hoping this guy doesn't die before we get him home because that bionic spine would be a oh i should have got someone else to capture him you fool How, how's he doing five hours oh you know what? we're probably fine with one anyway that's that's undraft you and capture you that way i'll immediately start tending to him when we get him back uh, we've got herbal medicine there, so I'm not against hitting him with the herbal medicine either. A slate meteor. Damn it. <laughs> no, not like this. <laughs> Tend. Rescue. Fuck. Did not, uh, what's his medical? Oh my god, 13.78? Well, never mind then. That's actually really good. Holy shit, thank you, Hefty. Hunting party. Is that relevant at all? Uh, where are they? Hello? We've got Eriope and Odeo here to kill everything that moves. That sadistic fuck has bought a, uh, a taser with them. They bought a taser. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a war crime, but that's okay. Oh, don't do this. They're hunting boom rats. Can you guys fight the fire? Oh, you animals. Can, can you fight the fire? You can fight the fire. I mean, she's on fire. Okay, it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. Oh, God, please send the rain. Whenever you're ready. Foggy rain. I'll take it. That could have been disastrous. We got very lucky there. Oh, no. <gasps> That's one. That's not what I expected at all. Um, Already tending. Already tending. What a guy. One. S okay, self-tend then. Fine. You are a better doctor. Ooh. Wow. 23% from 19.69. Nice 10 quality. Bizarre. That's really bad. Um... 
Donato, slice one in the right tibia. Oh, my right tibia. Uh, what's the infection? 12% and 5% immunity. Balls. Okay, yeah. No, that's already a that's already a medicine situation, isn't it? Oh, little Donato. Surgery failed. So are you all right? Have you like lost a hand or something? Because you are. Show me your medical license. I think he's lied on his CV. What the hell is going on here? I mean, to be fair, malnutrition and the infection is probably not are not inspiring much confidence there. Brilliant. Why don't we wait a while before we try the surgery on Donato? I think that's too dangerous right now to risk when our people are pathetic. What is she? She's just staying asleep. Her bed rest. I guess bed rest will always default to top priority with this mod, which is quite tricky. Um, oh, she would get out of bed if we gave her a good job, which is oh, the fucking capitalism right there, pal. That is, I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my entire life. This is a survival situation. I might get out of bed if I can be bothered. Holy shit. Oh my god, 98%. Well, that is what you call a little bit of a close call. Freaking hell. Um, right. Thank you, Hefty. Thank god Hefty with his 13.78 medical. What the fuck was the 10 quality, though? That was garbage. 5.8%. I think she just tended him, though. So we're okay. That was... Awful. That was awful. We almost died, even with all of these nice bonuses. The problem is, I, I did try and force this. Uh, none of them were assigned to cleaning, so we had to tend him in a filthy room, and there was literally nothing I could do to stop that. We just had to accept it. Unbelievable. One is no longer capable of walking. One is fully healed. There we are. Okay. Patch yourself up. We really need the. Uh, we really need something to cook with. Again, I can't clean the place. We're gonna have to get one maximum cleaning priority, which is uh, terrible, garbage, awful. And then with that, we can probably do a little bit of cookery. Um, I need a stone campfire. We can actually build one of those. A stone campfire is burn longer, basically. That's that's about the only benefit. Uh, hefty build. Hefty build. And then we'll get whoever, basically, to cook simple meals. Whoever bloody wants to do it. Who's our most skilled cooker? Um, where is your cooking skill? 0 0.4. Oh, my God. 3 point. I, like I said, I think we'll just bite the bullet and just have have one doing it. Are you feeding the prisoner? I never agreed to feed the prisoner. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. The room's filthy again. I'm trying to give us food poisoning. I guarantee you everybody's getting food poisoning from that. Neron. Neron. There's four of them already. Oh, my God. It's already getting... We're already outnumbered. Um, embrasures, I think, are my next job. I think they have to be. Okay, run and gun. Let's use our range to our advantage and their crap weapons. Because they've got, they've got like these feral pistols which have garbage range. So if we can stay a couple of steps ahead of them, we're, we're good. My god, that laser pistol has a fucking range to it though, doesn't it? Wow. Foggy rain, not a big help, I will admit. Especially when we've actually got this advantage. Oh, we've almost got... Oh, nice, good hit. Is that, brother, not only neutramine and not only automatic pistols and combat handguns. That's a pickaxe. That's a pickaxe for Hefty. What's that, like 20%? 33% mining speed when equipped? 33%. That's incredible. I'm, I'm very, very happy to see that. And the other two are melee characters, right? Stomp. I will stomp you, my friend. Don't you don't you run. I want to see what he drops. Uh, We could strip him. What's he got on him? Uh, oh, nothing really of value. Shoes. I guess some shoes are better than no shoes, as the expression goes. Hefty can have the shoes. Apron. Can we wear an apron under the jacket? Because the aprons obviously give the work speed bonus. No, because I think you start with aprons. They've quite clearly taken them off. Balls. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth the gamble. I don't think it's worth conferring the extra... Oh, what is that? Adjustable plus one. Quip delay and... Oh, some blunt armor. Oh, that's not really worth it. I don't think it's worth the risk that is... Uh, the bonus to work speed to give our guys... To give our guys less defense. That's that's not a good deal. Um, you grab the plain leather shoes. Free shoes, though, is a good deal. Um, should we get these corpses out here at some stage? What else we got here? The Neutramium that I, I definitely want. Um, automatic pistols are great, aren't they? Let's go ahead and allow all... What about these guns? Are they better than the guns we've got right now? Hang on. Let's go DPS versus accuracy. Um, yeah, the, uh, I mean, the, the, the automatic pistol come out handgun are the best guns we've got. But I think the laser pistol with the range of it in the hands of, of one who can run and gun. Run and gun lowers your accuracy, but he gets more accuracy because he's a better shot. I think that's a nice potent combo. So we'll give the automatic pistol and the combat handgun to the other guys. And that's great. That's a, that's a nice upgrade. Oh, a small herd of thrombers have wandered into your base to devour everything not nailed down. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Touch my farms and I will do nothing because 
Your old thrumbo. What did you just swap out? Oh, you can put on the flat. Of course you can put on the flat vest below the flat jacket. I completely forgot about that. Hey, good work. People are, are genuinely in kind of surprisingly good moods as well. I'm a little bit impressed by that. I think cooking Simple Meal times four with a character who's so bad at cooking, it takes so long, it's probably not worth it. I think it'd be more beneficial to do it, you know, piecemeal. Um, quite literally, uh, a piecemeal at a time, as in one meal at a time, rather than this, because it's, it's too much of a time investment otherwise. Let's put down a, like a dining table. There, it's fine. It really, really makes no difference. So much wood. I'm going to stop building out steel. We've got a ridiculous amount of wood here. Just got to be careful our entire base doesn't catch fire. Not that I would ever let that happen in any of my remote campaigns. Haha. <laughs> right, let's do something like that. There we go. How are we doing? I'm going to force them to stay away just to cook some meals. And then I think we'll let them get a good night's sleep. Well, a few hours sleep at this point. Ah, my bionic spine has gone mad. I did forget about him, to be fair. Oh, don't, 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 don't make me kill you. Get the club. Get the wooden club as well. Equip that as a sidearm, and then beat him over the head with it. Right. Draft up. Club out. Door's coming down. He's coming out. We're going to club. Do not kill. One, if you kill him, you are losing us a significant advantage here, my friend. Nice. Okay. Happy with that. An okay situation. Just... Wait. He just got up and walked away. I can't arrest him again, because we've got no... Oh, for fuck's sake. Are we good? There we are. Right. Come back. Look, all I want is your spine. It's really not that difficult. We'll tidy up and we'll just whip it off now, I think. Now the one's a bit more appropriate um, for, for the job at hand. What are you doing? Tending to him. Oh, okay, that's fine. Are you all right? Alcohol tolerance small. What the fuck have you been doing? <laughs> um, prioritize tending. No, 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 prioritize operating. Need material. No medicine? Really? What's all my herbal medicine? We have we had a, we had a stack of it. It's gone. I don't want to be part spine. Need material. What the hell happened to all that herbal medicine? I have a feeling a muffalo may have eaten it. Harvest all. Can I just say, okay, let's go select all wild heal root. How many do we get? 61. Uh, cancel. Harvest fully grown. That, I think, is a sensible plan. How much steel have we got? Uh, well, the fact that I can't see any. Oh, 37. All right, not ideal. We've got 223 granite. Here's what I'm thinking. Pillbox. So let's go granite and embrasure. We'll put it like down here and we'll just build a very simple pillbox. Four by four. We'll door there and a door there. So we've got alternate escape routes. Um, and let's go granite, door there and there. And I built that out of embrasures with holes in it. So we've only got three people. So some of these embrasures with holes in, we might as well take away, right? So we do something like that. And then uh, granite walls. And then what I'm going to do just to really ensure that this is safety zone is let's take some sandbags or maybe even barricades at this point. Can people stand on barricades? Obviously, you can't stand on sandbags, but I'm not sure if it's true with these. Um, and we'll put that around it. 100 steel. Oh, good lord. Um, I guess we use wood. Doesn't really matter. We'll put that around it just so enemies can't use them against us. Otherwise, they could just walk right up to the wall and, and we'd be in as much of a bad position as they are. Um, whereas at this point, they're forced to use wooden barricades, which are 57% cover, versus the... 80% that the embrasures give. I'm going to force prioritize this because I think it could be very much the difference between life and death. Let's get into that. And how much were the embrasures? Five granite blocks. I understand that embrasure mods make it so that embrasures are more expensive as a balancing thing. But when you're taking materials out of a, out, out of a wall, it shouldn't make it cost more. So I'm all right with that. We can actually do it now. We got enough. I fucking... What are you doing? I mean, yes, it's a dark room and you're doing it on a floor. Oh, come on. Okay, patch him up. All right, fine, fine. We are doing it with herbal medicine. Yes, I admit that. Yes, we're doing it on the floor. I'll build him a slab bed. Will that do? Will you all be happy then? How, how are we doing on the cotton? Bloody miles away. <laughs> Did you get it? <gasps> I completely missed it, but he actually got it. Oh my God, that doesn't kill them. We could send him to a settlement then. As part of our empire, if we take him on as a slave. I mean, he wouldn't be able to do a huge amount on account of not having a spine. Oh my god, we've actually got a Bionic Spine episode 1. Now all we have to do is safely implant it into 1 without fucking this up. No pressure, hefty. I mean, he's a good doctor, so he should manage it. Elders. Are they the magic men with the magic sticks? Where are they? Uh, okay. Uh, if only there was a jump to location. Oh, it's one dude. Oh, it's two people. What are they wearing? Wendy Randolph. Anima War Veil. Oh, look at that. Psychic Sensitivity. Neuro heat recovery and pain shock threshold is up. Oh, those are good. We should just wear those. Can we wear them with our uh, helmets? Because the pain shock threshold plus 5% is actually not bad. 
you know, it's not high enough where life-threatening injuries would be killing us dead. Uh, you know, because they're willing to fight to the bitter end. But it's also good enough where they won't go down quite so soon, but still with time to tend, you know? This is probably going to be a complete wipeout because they are... I mean, people with pointy sticks, but it is it is interesting to see how they work. Do they have access to their psychic abilities? Because if they're going to turn up and start throwing psychic powers at us, then we might have something to concern ourselves with. If not, it's not really a big problem, is it? No, I think we're okay. Hey, not a problem. And we knock them both down, so we can take their wall veils too. I'm fairly certain if we equip it, it'll remove our hat, but um, I'll give it a go. Why don't we give it a quick go here? Right at the end. I really should stop playing, but it's actually quite fun <laughs> when I don't get wiped out in two seconds flat. No, it swaps the hat. It's not worth it at that point, huh? Well, there we go. Okay. This, my friends, is not a bad start. And like I said, all we've done is started with some armor. We haven't really... I don't think we've taken any damage from combat, actually. And the damage that we did take from combat, if we have, was so irrelevant that I'm not entirely sure it was worth mentioning. We've got a bionic spine. Episode one, which I think is pretty big. We've got ourselves an actual base. It's weird how just by varying the starting point by such a small amount would have such a massive, you big bitch, have a massive effect on gameplay, huh? Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, this will be our final run in this particular build of the mod pack. So if we die again, um, we'll call it there and we'll play basically as long as we can survive till because it sounds if Igor is going to get very, very tough at the later levels. And I think uh, we've never done a series where we just play until we die. Um, so that, that should be quite a fun way to balance things. After that, I have an idea involving Igor and a couple of other storytellers um, using the hot seat mod, but I'm not going to say any more quite yet because I think it's going to be quite a fun concept and, and very, very unlike anything we've ever done before. So stay tuned for that. Thank you in the meantime, of course, to the patrons without which I wouldn't have time to sit here and be very sad about games. Thank you to Scarlet Bard, Hezron, Thor, Psychofire, Thick Quack, 62, Solothol, Nick Danger, 013, Skaz, Under the Couch, Sideshow, C, Voodoo Mumbo, Crow Skull, Ethox, I Stab Cows, Justin Rules, Zaka, and Cyric Through and Three, along with everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for that spot. I really need to change the end card of this video, don't I? It's completely misleading. Thank you as well for thanks for the loan, Bojo, Matteo, Ladies Rulian, Proximity Jones, Smirtworm, Nox Immortalis, Moon Doggy, Larry the Emu. Bare minimum, Atreus Sen, Callum James 3, Astros Fan 12345, and Selkath Sith for their support as well.